Hi, this is Tookie, and today I'm going to do a video about what I carry in my truck. Um, specifically, it's coming on winter, and so this is uh, my winter gear bag. Uh, this is just a bag that I put together for, and various items that I keep in my truck. Um, just in case I were to have to, I broke down or I got bogged down. I spent a lot of time out and about in the woods in the back country, in the mountains, in the prairies, in the canyons. So if I were to break down or get bogged down and I needed some gear until I could get rescued or until I could find my way out or if shit hit the fan and uh, I had to abandon the truck for some unforeseen reason and I just had to go or even if I was in the truck and I just had to go I had uh, gear set aside for you know, just various purposes, various reasons. Um, so let's get to it. First of all, I'll show you the stuff that uh, I always carry. My canteen. And uh, in there is a canteen cup. And in here are water purification tablets that I always carry with me. It's summer, winter, it doesn't matter, it always, it's always with me. And then in winter, well, even in summer, it just depends, I carry a pair of boots. These are my Timberland flumes. They're well worn in, well, they're well used, well worn in, so, because I have this habit when I'm out, sometimes I'm wearing cowboy boots. Oh, I'm not Rick Grimes in The Walking Dead. I'm not going to be spending eternity in cowboy boots. A good set of well-worn and broken in. And these are waterproof hiking boots. In my truck, I carry a spotlight. And this is a Stanley. Um, I can't remember. I think it's I can't remember how many lumens, but it 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 goes for quite a ways. So I carry that with me in the truck regardless of season. Let's see what else I have. I also have uh, this is made by Black and De Decker. It's just a garden shovel. It's actually pretty lightweight. Um, I've tried military foldable shovels, and I've actually had some break on me, so I'm not a real big fan. And I carry that in my truck year round. This is another thing I carry in my truck year-round. I also take it with me on camping trips. This is the Gerber Gator Machete. This is good for cutting wood. It has done everything I have asked it to do and more. I carry this with me in the truck. This is, you know, if I need wood or have to cut some brush down or even as self-defense, it will work out. Another thing I carry in my truck year-round is a tarp, a heavy duty dual use tarp. This one is seven foot by nine foot. And now, my bag is a regular Nike duffel bag, gym bag. Well, people will see that even in a regular scenario and they'll think, hey, she's, she's coming from the gym. And nobody wants to look in a gym bag if they think it's filled with dirty underwear and stinky gym socks. That's just not something they want to do. So I chose a Nike duffel bag. Now let's get to the duffel bag. Okay, in the Nike duffel bag, let's start with the front. I have a, a little locking knife that just holds my zippers together. It's just a little nifty knife. You can never have too many knives. Um, and then on this side I have a small whistle. So let's get started with this side pocket and what it contains. In this first side pocket, I have my Zombie Squad bandana. Bandanas are good for everything. And a first aid kit. Now to start off with, I'm just going to let you know ahead of time, yes, everything is in a Ziploc bag. Why is everything in a Ziploc bag? Because you know what? If it gets wet or moisture seeps in there, 
your gear is not going to be any good to you or anybody else. Your blades will get rusted, your food will get ruined, even your first aid equipment will get ruined. So everything is kind of in a Ziploc bag. Plus, you know, I can use the Ziploc bags in an emergency situation for several different reasons. I could use it to collect water if need be. I can use it to make a vegetation bag if I need be. I can even put them together and make a solar still should I have to. I can also use them for gathering and storing certain items that I pick up. So let's get to the first aid kit. Okay, so what's in the first aid kit? First of all, I have a belt. This belt is large enough so that I could wrap it around a thigh, a leg, an arm, even your torso if I have to. I could wrap it around your neck if I have to. Just, just saying. Um, tourniquets are hard to come by if you're not in the medical field. I used to have a few, but uh, I have no idea where they disappear to. So I have this belt for use as a tourniquet. I carry, this container is full of isopropyl alcohol for sterilization, cleaning wounds. I have some pain relief cream, Neosporin. I have some hand sanitizer because if you're going to be dealing with wounds on other people or yourself, you don't want to be reintroducing more bacteria to the, to the wound than you have to, so keep your hands clean. Keep yourself free of infection. I have another bandana here. I have oil of clove, clove oil. This bottle cost me $16, but it's worth it. Uh, it's used, dentists used to use it for uh, oral anesthetic or analgesic because it'll kill tooth pain. You could also apply it to wounds and it's a little bit, it has a little analgesic profi properties for that. Um, it's also supposed to stimulate digestion. Um, it gets rid of gas. Um, there's several different uses for it. Uh, you can look it up if you want to. Maybe I'll cover it in a later video because its properties are, there are so many. In here are some non-prescription medications that I carry. Um, in this bag particularly, I have Tylenol, Naproxen and ibuprofen. Tylenol works better for some. Some are allergic, so you got to have a, a variety. Some things work better for others things than others. Just like if you're a female and you're having some really bad menstrual cramps, and whether you know it or not, ibuprofen is a better choice for your menstrual cramps because it does better than Tylenol and Naproxen. Same goes for Tylenol. Tylenol does better for other things than it does for, you know, you got to have a variety. In here I also have um, aspirin, I have some Pepto-Bismol tab tablets, I have electrolyte tablets, uh, I have indigestion tablets, and so that covers a little bit of pain control or other problems that you might run into. Uh, I carry emergency purified drinking water. And in this kit, I carry, this is my bandaging kit. In here, I carry ace wrap, gauze bandage, transport tape, and two tampons. Why tampons? Tampons are good for plugging a hole. You got a bullet wound or you got, I don't know, maybe you stumbled and fell into a piece of rebar. I mean, it's happened. I've seen it happen. You could plug that hole and stop the bleeding really easily and the tampon is actually really absorbing so it'll suck up most of that blood. Also it's good for nosebleeds. Now in here I also have super glue and super why super glue? Well when you go into the emergency room or you go into surgery in some cases doctors will use what's called Durabond to, to uh, seal your wound. I actually have one on my neck that uh, is pretty big and uh, it was a result of surgery and to stitch that up without using stitches, sutures, staples or whatnot they'll use this substance called Durabond. Well Durabond is basically just super glue. It's 
just glorified super glue. So you can use super glue for closing some pretty bad wounds in, in some cases if you don't have the proper material to do sutures or staples. And that's my bandaging kit. This is a extension of the bandaging kit and in here I have every size band-aid including knuckle, knuckle bandages. I have stary strips of different sizes. I have maxi pads which are used as a impromptu bandage as well. Those are the thin maxis. I have gauze bandages and they're about I have I think the largest one I have comes in about that size. So that goes with the bandaging kit. Oh, and here comes my gap. He wants to be in the video. And then in here I carry basically my working kit. This has surgical gloves in it, cotton balls, alcohol prep pads, a rag for cleaning as you go on along. I have a sterile needle in there. Um, I do believe I have alcohol prep pads, some cotton swabs. Oh, and some iodine. I have some iodine in there. And then in here, taped to the front, I have a face shield. And a face shield is basically just if you need to give CPR to someone that they don't that you don't know about and you don't want to catch any cold sores, aka herpes, you put that over the mouth and give safe CPR. This is an impromptu CPR bag, so I have two. And then in here is a sterilization by heat. My sterilization of heat kit basically just includes matches to light the candle and a striker and a small shotgun candle that I made myself and if it's basically based on the Kulik theory I have a video on that it's I'll show you it's a shotgun shell that's filled the wick is just your material like I, I use a cut up sheet and then in here is your animal fat basically the grease you get off of bacon when you fry it, different meats, and then on top of there I've sealed it with paraffin wax so that it doesn't leak out if it were to get too hot in transit. You can light that and it'll burn for hours as a candle to sterilize any needles or blades that you may need to. Okay, now in this other side pocket is my food items. First of all is my Stanley water bottle, which I've done a review on. If you haven't seen that, you might want to check that out. And a carabiner just to carry it with. This does have water in it. And the reason I chose this water bottle is because in case I were to have to leave and I didn't have my canteen or canteen cup with me, this bottom can be used as a boiling pot. The top actually screws off and it becomes a cup of its own. So that is included in my food item kit. Also I have a cup which is also a measuring cup and uh, my spork. My food stuff item. In here I have two days worth of food but if need be I can actually make it stretch. There are two ramen noodles, one beef, one chicken. I have four oatmeal packets and I have two Nature Valley sweet and salty almond bars. I also have some instant coffee that I carry with me. Coffee is a comfort food. It's also good to stimulate digestion and there's a few other things that caffeine is really good for. But I decided to include co the instant coffee in my thing, in my kit. Also I have suckers. The suckers, you may ask why, well, maybe you had to abandon the truck or maybe you, you're you on a long walk or even in the truck and it's you, you don't have time to eat, um, something's going on, you just, you can't eat but you're hungry or even if you run out of food, if you stick a sucker in your mouth, it can actually kind of take your mind off the hunger as it does take your mind off thirst too. So, and it's a little a little sugar boost too. So I include a few suckers in my food bag for that reason. Okay, the meat and bones of the center compartment. 
And, you know, a backpack might be a little more um, of a better idea for some people because they can huck it around on their back. But like I said, I don't really want to be... This can be ditched. You dropped easily in a running scenario. Um, first of all, on the top, I carry dog biscuits. Why do dog biscuits? Maybe you're in town or you're even in the country and there's some, you know, kind of rough dogs. Well, you throw them a biscuit and they might just think you're your friend. They're your friend for a little bit. Look this Toilet paper. Winter gear includes my hat with ear flaps, warm hat, winter work gloves, and I also have winter thin gloves, and I have wool socks in here. A hoodie. Uh, this is made by Deep, which is a snowboarding company, and the material that they make this hoodie out of is uh, it, it'll shed water really easily and insulate well, even though it's lightweight. Uh, it's a snowboarder, a snowboarding company that makes this, and I like it also because it has a large front pocket. So if I were to have to ditch the bag and opt for a different way out with the hoodie on, I can stuff my front pocket with as much gear as I can carry in the front pocket, like a kangaroo. We'll get to this in a minute. I carry Gatorade. In this case, I have two different bottles. Um, I carry the Gatorade for extra hydration and also because I always like to have a plastic water bottle with me. Uh, the plastic water bottle can be used to purify water in once it's empty in a pasteurization process. I have a video on that if you care to check that out. Um, it can also be used to filter dirty, mucky, muddy gross water with. I have a video on the larger version of doing the same thing with a tripod. I have a, my grand trunk ultralight in case I want to get up off the ground to sleep. I carry a roll of extra clothes. I have underwear, a pair of jeans, I have a t-shirt, I have a moisture wicking warm long sleeve shirt in there. I also have a thermal shirt in there and the wool socks that are in here. So I have one change of clothes. I have a wool blanket. This was my father's when he was in the army. So it is mostly wool which are hard to come by anymore. I've looked and looked and looked and it's really hard to find a, a wool blanket that's more than 50% anymore. So this one is, I think it's 80%. Anyway, a wool blanket. In here, I also have a poncho, which can be used to shed water, or it can be used as shelter if you need. And then in this smaller pocket, and this is not so much for a shit hit the fan or survival scenario, but this is just, you know, I have a hygiene kit, toothpaste, toothbrush, little small block of homemade uh, natural soap, a little bit of lotion, a rag, and some lip balm, which I can use to clean up with because hygiene is kind of important. Okay, but in now here is the extra fanny gear pack that I included that I didn't want just floating around that was all in one place. Once again, everything is in Ziploc bags to keep it moisture out. My tools. And it includes a full tang knife, a simple Leatherman. This is an older model that my oh, belonged to my stepdad, so it's got some sentimental value to it um, now that he's passed away, gone three years now. And it's just a simple Leatherman. Leatherman should be included in everybody's gear bag. They're wonderful to have. And then a sharpener. 
my Smith, my Smith sharpener. In this bag, I do believe is my lighting kit. And in here, I included extra batteries, a candle, a flashlight, and some glow sticks. And that's the great thing about Halloween is they put them out for sale and then they go on sale after the holiday is over and I pick up tons of them. So I have blue ones in here for my lighting. And here is my signaling kit. And in this signaling kit I have red glow sticks which are universal for help me. I also have an extra additional flashlight but th this is made by Life Gear. And the reason this is in the signaling is because it has this feature here. A whistle with the compass. And then wrapped in here is a mirror. And then these firecrackers here, which I picked up 4th of July, they don't have the label on, any, on them anymore, but once you light them, they'll actually flash as they're going off. So that's a good tool to have for signaling. In here, I have an, a fire kit, which includes some fat wood. This tin is for making some char cloth, should I need to. But it also contains a uh, cotton ball soaked in Vaseline and a wet fire fire starting tinder. In this tin, is there's char cloth. Oh, great. There's some Maya sticks that I've made, a tea candle, some regular matches in here, and a 410 shell, which has strikers glued to the top. And then one of these pull saws for cutting wood. I also carry a bag that just has a couple of bungee cords and some extra carabiners in it. And I have paracord. I also carry with me notepads with one red sharpie, a pen, a pencil, and a black felt tip pen for leaving notes or whatever you have to do. And then this is a repair kit. In here I have some crazy glue. I have zip ties, small and large. I have some duct tape. I have some electrical tape. I have bread ties. And I have a sewing kit which includes everything you may need. And that concludes what's inside the Outdoor Products fanny pack, which is just small gear. And just to show you, everything fits. right behind the seat and under the seat so you're not taking up a whole lot of space. Well that concludes what's in the bag, what I carry with me during the winter in my truck for a get home bag slash emergency bag. Once again I opted for the duffel bag, the Nike duffel bag as opposed to a military pack or other pack for the simple reason that it's a little less um, obvious and um, it's not that heavy and it's not that hard to carry but like I said should I have to ditch it in a really bad situation there's the fanny pack and there's and here comes the wind and the deep snowboarding ho hoodie that has the I mean it's an immense kangaroo pouch that I could just shove the essentials in there and go um, and being free of a bag or a backpack to weigh me down would probably be a little more um, feasible if, sh if stuff were really that bad that, it, that I really had to go. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you learned something maybe saw a few things that maybe you too might like to include in your get home bag or just to throw in your car or truck just for, you know, 
know, emergency situations. If you're like me, you always carry a first aid kit, regardless. Um, but maybe you saw something in there that you thought maybe you too might like to include. And I know some people are like, well, some of that's overkill. Well, you know, if you're out, if you're living my life and where I'm at, which is basically almost always out in the middle of nowhere, some of this gear may look like overkill to you, but it's really not. Because I have been in some really crappy situations with a whole hell of a lot less, and I have learned over time that this is kind of the stuff that you need when you live the life that I do. I hope you learned something. I hope you like the video. Uh, thank you for watching. This has been Tookie and this is my emergency slash get home bed. Get out there. Do something. Explore. The world is a big place. And don't take it so seriously. Nobody's getting out alive. Take care. Have fun.